Hello, welcome. This is Richard O'Kerry Jr. Today we are going to be talking about how you can create a SendFox page or make a landing page on SendFox.com. So we'll log into the account now, put in your username and password, and then click on login. Okay, so on the next page, you'll click on lists. So we'll create a list. Uh, it's important to create a list so that you can assign the page to that list. Create a new list and then you give it a name. I'm going to call this Detox Challenge. Okay. Detox Challenge Waiting List. Okay, then I'll click on create list. Then the next thing would be to go to smart pages. Okay, on smart pages, I'll click on create smart page. So I'll give this smart page a name. So this is the landing page that people are going to be, uh, you're going to be sharing for people to join the challenge come and register and join the waiting list so i'll call this seven days uh, fertility detox challenge okay here i'm just going to get content that uh i'll get the content from somewhere and put it there Okay, so I'll just get the content that I need and I'll use that content there. So this will be the heading, so you can have your own heading and use your heading, make it catchy, something that people will, that will really motivate people to want to sign up and shows the benefits of the program. Uh, so I'll get the, what they will learn. So this is typically how we set up a simple straight to the point landing page. So I'll make this bold and italize it. Then I'll centralize it also. And then I will increase it to heading two. Uh, what next? The next thing is I'll make all the first words capital. This um, two read your body uh, unwanted toxins obstacles uh, that preventing i'll go back to r i'll make that capital letter and then i'll do for enable and miscarriages okay uh what else the next i, I will uh, read your okay what you will get okay i'll make that bold so this is the word that will get button then i'll make your body get read your body of wanted toxins i'll make this um i'll change the color to i think blue will work here yep and then uh, preventing uh, preventing conception I'll make it uh, underline that okay that's about it I'll copy that and save I like to copy it before I save okay so once I save this I'll go back to uh, edit smart page Okay, uh, filling, I will say filling your details here below. That's the next thing I should have added. Uh, so that to join the waiting list. Of course, the idea is for them to join the wait list. Okay, then I'll save that again. I'll make this. Okay, it's already in bold. So I will. Okay, then I say what you get for 1k because we want to uh, get them to start knowing that it, the, 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 the challenge, it's, it, it's paid, but we don't make, want to make it so obvious so that they can still 
um, sign up but let them start getting the idea that the challenge is paid so that you get more people who'll be interested in making the payment when we open for payments okay then i will copy everything again okay and then i'll just use control a control a and control c to copy everything and once i am done with that uh, everything is good here okay i'll save that and then go to visuals so on the visuals i'll change this color so i'll go and get the client's color code okay that's the color i want okay i'll paste it here okay so that's the color and then on the page image so so let me change the logo um i'll change the logo select the logo so the logo is already uploaded here so i'll just select it yes that's the logo i'll click on insert uh so it's going to appear there and then the next thing is this page image so it's a page image is an image that displays by the left on a mobile phone on on top is, is on top on the mobile phone and by the left on a laptop if you are viewing from a laptop okay so it could be an image of the event or the program or that you are promoting okay so i'll go and make that design or find that image uh, using my corel drawer so I'll, I'll need to size it to how it's supposed to be on sendfox sendfox has a size so i'll need to resize it to fit the sendfox page so that it can display well on both laptop and both on the smartphone so i'll go to corel draw and i'm using corel draw but you can use any um uh, application that works for your software that works for you so this is the size that i want i don't know what the size is called but this is how it's supposed to look i'll create this box and then i'm going to put that image into this place okay if you see the size is um the so this is how the image is supposed to be this is 628 by 856 in pixels so i'll paste that image here and put it inside their power clip inside this box and then i'll fit that image okay i think this 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 is not the image we uh, want to use i'll make a correction here immediately and then we will come back to this image i'll make a correction quickly and then we'll conclude this so that's the correction i've made the correction so i'll now fit this in okay so make sure everything fits into the box all right then i'll finish click on finish editing this level and then i'll remove this black outline okay black outline is off then i'll save this as png everything looks good i'll save that as png that's transparent or oh, where is png yeah there you are where is that okay okay then i'll save this i'll just call this landing and click on okay let's spot that rgb is fine if you notice there's this transparent look there so uh so i'll click on okay so we'll go to send fox and import that image Let's find it where it is. Where is that image? Clients, yeah. Okay, where is the, yeah, there you are. Okay, I'll import it. So there it is i'll insert that image and then click on save
and then next thing is go to forms so here i'll select the list that list i will first created that's the t detox challenge waiting list anybody who feels this page this landing the form on the landing page will be uh, put into this um, list i'll select first name and then the button the text i want to be on the button instead of submit i will say join wait lists then redirect url url is the link i want them to be redirected to once they fill the form uh, i want it to be the facebook group of the client so i'll go and get the link to that group now okay. yeah that is it so that is that looking good i'll save this Okay, any other thing I want to add here, I'll go back to, um, okay, so I want to let them know that they'll be redirected to the Facebook group, okay, so that they'll have an idea, they are not surprised when they are suddenly in Facebook after filling a form, so I'll just put a note here, um, you'll, you'll be redirected to the so precious fertility facebook group fertility facebook group so i'll make that bold so that they, they, it will be difficult for them to miss that all right once that is done i'll click on save and that's about it uh, let's see the page so there you have the page okay see it's looking good that's the kind of page that we want i'll close this so, so this is how the page looks this is the page where everybody who signs up for this challenge will be seen okay i want to put a space between enabling miscarriages and uh, what you will get for 1k So I'll go to yeah, make this space and click on save and then go to refresh the page. So that's the page looking good. Okay, I'll close this. So there's the page. You can check out the page on your mobile also to see how it's looking. So the next thing I want to do is to put automation so that they will get an automatic email anytime they fill this form they'll get an automated email so i'll click on automations on top okay once i click automations on top i'll click on create automation series i'll select the list i want uh, this to be connected to, and that's the detox challenge waiting list i'll click on ok then I'll give this automation a name. I'll call it Detox Challenge again. So this is where autoresponding auto comes into play. Once they fill that form, they get an automatic email. I'll click, I'll save this, and then I will go to Edit Trigger. No, not Edit Trigger. I'll go to this um, email button here. I'll click on it. So on this page, um, there's an email that is supposed to be here. I'll untick that sent to active subscribers only. And then I'll click on, I'll say hello. I want to put their first name. So I'll go to this human icon here, face icon, and select first name. Okay, so uh, let me get the automated email okay, that I've written already. So that's the email. So if you notice, the first thing is this the from, which is the name of the person who is sending the email on top. Then you will notice from email, that's the email address that is sending the email by the right. Okay. The next thing you notice is the subject. So congratulations. And what you will notice is that I put the first name also here on the subject so that, so what I did was just to copy this link here and then I put it there. I pasted it there. Next thing is congratulations for signing up for the seven days detox challenge 
um, then I let them know because this funnel is about the challenge is actually paid. So we want to start letting them know that they can, that they will, will be opening for payment very soon for the challenge so that you, they will know that they have to pay and be preparing their mind for that. The next thing is this So Precious Fertility Facebook group. I want it to be clickable. So I'll get the link to that Facebook group and paste it there. So once I highlight that specific test that I want to make clickable, I'll click on this link on top and then get the group link and paste it there. So that's the group link and I'll paste it. Where are you? Yes, I'll paste it here. I'll click on save. Uh, make it bold, make it underlined so that they don't miss it. And then that's about it. Okay, I'll make the put a space there just to make it clean. And that's it. Everything looks good. I'll save this now. I'll usually like to copy. I'll copy and then I'll save. Okay, so once that is saved, I'll go back to automation. And here you see under delay, it's set to send after 24 hours, but I want it to be immediately. So I'll remove this to inform put zero. So it's going to send immediately the subscribe to the landing page or to the form. Okay, so that is about it. Um, let's go and get the link to I'll save this first, and then we'll go and get the link to the landing page. We'll click on smart pages. And then we'll click on uh, promote or you can right click on view right click on view and click on copy link address and there you have the link or you can click on promote and then head over to below you will see copy smart page link you can also uh, make this link uh, customized and make it look prettier. That's how to create a pretty link. Maybe connect customized to your website. Um, I'll show you that in the next video. Thank you, Richard the Curry Jr. Signing out.